Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. The fin can is our next project to work on, masking it off to get it ready for paint. We're going to use the same technique that we used here on the second stage. Um, what's going to happen is we're going to put uh, the black down first and then we're going to mask over it so that we get that nice straight edge. Now, as we talked about in a previous video, um, we don't want to have this situation where we're masking over the launch lug. We want to put the launch lug either where it's all white or all black and there's two locations we can choose. We can either have it all white or all black. I'm going to choose the all white location because it's already painted white and it's a little bit hard to get in there with a paint sprayer to get it the all the edges one solid color since it's already white it's going to save me time um, so there's two that are going to be all white the two next to it are all black that's um, if you're looking at it from the bottom it would be clockwise so two white, two black, and then it's split half white, half black, half white, half black. So these four on this side, we need to draw a line We need to draw a line about halfway on the flat surface area right here. And we're going to do that for four. So after the black, we have a black on top, white on the bottom, then white on top, black on the bottom. To make this a little bit easier, um, on the Apogee website, you'll find a, a pattern sheet like this, where we have a fin, and then we have the, the trapezoid piece that goes in between. And the way we're going to use these is we're going to cut them out. And these vertical pieces right here, are the the fins themselves. Remember, if you you can either have the fins straight up or at a two degree cant. I have mine at a two degree cant, so this is the one that I cut out. And we're going to use that as kind of like a ruler to mark these. So two white, two black, and you'll lay them in the middle like this. You can see they're a trapezoid. And that gives me a nice straight edge to draw a line across. Um, what I have done here with my pieces is that I have kind of uh, put some CA glue into them, make them a little bit stiffer. And I also did that for the fin. You can see on the fin, I'm only using the bottom portion like this. And then we'll lay that on the fin itself. And that will give us a nice line that we can draw across. Let me get it lined up here. Just like that. And you want to line up this back corner like that. And you're going to take your marker that we used before. Okay, so that's white, that's white. These two are black. These two are black. Doesn't matter. This one's going to be a, a line across. Let's see if I can do this. This can be upside down for you, but right side up for me. Make it a little easier for me to see it. Just like that. And I can do on this side. Just make double check here. Make sure I got this right. So two whites, two blacks, half white, okay. <laughs> Measure twice, cut once. That's the old saying, right? Okay. And okay, just like that. And then we'll take the one for the middle and 
we'll just connect the lines and making sure that we have a nice straight line across the inside. Like that. And then we'll carefully draw our line. Okay, like that. And then at that point, we can take the uh, liquid paint pen and color on the right side of the line. I just want to double check mine to make sure I got it right before I start color coloring. Okay. So, if this is white, and I say this is where my launch lug is. And it's black on the bottom, which would be there, black on the bottom, two blacks on the bottom, black on top, black on top. Okay, so here on this side, I want black on top. So this is going to be black on top, like that. I just put a big old blob on there just to make sure that I got it right. And then I'll just start coloring right up to the line. It's really hard for me to do it upside down, but you see what I'm going to be doing. And that way, um, we can go ahead and mask it off correctly. Um, so when I come back, um, I should have this uh, marked off and then we'll start putting the tape on to get it into this point like here uh, so we can paint it black. And so I'll do both pieces at the same time.